Hey, Saul Carter here with Others Realty. Wanted to talk today about one of the requirements of doing a short sale that in the past couple of years has become a little bit more ambiguous, only in that um, there's been less and less people who are truly having, you know, I'm about to get kicked out of my house because I've lo both of us have lost, lost our jobs and, you know, we just can't even pay for dinner, let alone, you know, a mortgage. Now, over the past year or so, things have really turned more for people kind of seeing the writing on the wall and saying, hey, look, I have the money, but this is just ridiculous. And so people have made that choice. Now, just because you decide you cannot afford your home anymore does not mean that you truly have a hardship. Now, that said, you know, it is the right business decision for a lot of families and it's unfortunately whether the bank likes it or not um, sometimes you need to run your family as a business if you're going to care for your children or your children's children or even yourselves in the long run and banks don't necessarily like it but that's just the way life is so um, that said there are certain hardships which you don't necessarily have to worry about your financials as much. Um, obviously, divorce, um, there is curtailment of income. Obviously, if it's like the different, if you're making $10 less a year, that's not necessarily qualifying. Moving, um, the trick is, is you need to move a, a normal amount of distance. I actually had one client who moved literally three blocks away. And when the bank said, when I said, oh, but they moved, they said, well, it's their new address. And it's the same zip code. Um, <laughs> luckily, I don't think that they actually Googled it because literally it was two blocks away. But anyway, so when you're doing a short sale, you need to actually sit down, figure out what the your hardship is going to be, um, you know, and at that point, if you have a legitimate hardship, then we can get you your short sale done without any problems. The truth of the matter is, is I could probably get it done nine times out of ten even if you didn't have a real hardship because as I've mentioned before the banks are in one business and that business is to make money so if they're making money more than they are in a foreclosure then they're gonna do the short sale like I said sometimes they whine and cry but you know don't we all so anyway here's to doing real estate the other's way uh, if you've got some questions about that further please give me a ring one of the local numbers here or uh, fill out the getting started form and we will get you taken care of Thank you much. Talk to you soon.